YouTube. This is your boy, Mr. B for Backyard Barbecue. And this is part two of the Ready Check. Right? So, uh, if you saw part one, you know, I bought a Ready Check. I bought one before, took it back. Um, just because, I don't know. No specific reason. But once again, I'm back and I bought it. Right? As you can see, my little handy dandy table I just bought. Let me slide over a little bit. Uh, you see the table? Got my Ready Check. And this is the remote unit that you just sit. I'll be sitting in the garage watching TV. Uh, let me let you get a close up. The bigger screen than my old uh, 732, I believe it is. And then here's the other portion. So what I'm gonna do is, you can see in the background. Let me slide over a little bit. You can see in the background I got my uh, Luma chair out there. Got my Weber going kettle. Uh, I'm gonna hook this up uh, and show you exactly how it works. So just stick with me. Put a slab of baby backs on there just so I can uh, monitor the temp for a minute. I don't usually uh, use my temp gauge when I'm doing ribs, but just for this video, I'll show you how it looks. So just stick with me. We'll be back and we'll set it up once I put the ribs on, once it comes up to temp. And I'll show you how it works. Be back in a minute. What's up, YouTube? I'm back and got my ribs on here. Well, my one slab of baby backs. And I'm going to show you all pretty much like I said in part two of this video on how to use the ready check or how you read it All right so we're gonna make this real short let me go ahead and take the lid off I know your mouth watering when you see these baby backs they just went on no biggie they're gonna sit there for about five hours um, feel free to look at my video that's coming out in reference to those baby backs if you're curious on how I cook them um, let's do this this way slide both of these on the top make it easy oh sorry get out of the way this is for my grill grate a little clip I'll just go ahead and clip this on preferably not over the charcoal Ooh, that's hot Give me a sec. Bam. There we go. And I use it, like I said, I usually don't do this. I usually don't stick a probe inside my meat. But just to show you guys how it works, I'm going to stick it inside the rib and then I'm going to take it out after the fact. Um, but I'm just going to show you how it reads the temperatures on both sides of it. All right, the catch to this is, is to turn this on first, your remote, your remote uh, unit. Ooh. Right? Right now it says uh, it's set for 160 degrees, and then 250 is the high and low for the, uh, the temperature on the grill. All right, so in order to sync these up, this is the reason why I told you to turn this on first. So now... I turn the power on on this on the actual unit and it should automatically start reading temps like one says 295 all of a sudden it already synced up so as you can see uh, let me get a close-up 295 and 77 degrees the reason why it's blinking is remember the meat actually I got the probes in backwards let's do this easy swap without even having to do anything Easy swap. All right. So now what you see is number two is 351, which is above my temps. It synced up just that quick, y'all. If you look, it's above my threshold. The temp is at 351. I idle this down so it uh so my temps start to come down, and I just sit this right here and monitor. Like I said, my meat, the ribs are at 81 degrees. Um, I got it set for 160. No, it says beef, but I'm not really using this today. I'm just using. I'm just showing you how the video works in reference to a piece of meat. So just picture it being a piece, uh, piece of uh, 
uh, beef ribs in reference to this, whatnot. What's up, Randall? Hey, man. All right, that's my neighbor. But anyway, um, that's pretty much how it works, man. It'll sit here and it'll beat once it gets 160 degrees for the meat. And if my tent wasn't that high, it's going up to 400 degrees. I need to throw this back real quick. And then uh, that's it. Let me know if you have one. Let me know if you have any comments. And how about your boy? This is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Holla.